Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the jaw-dropping legal drama between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Yes, Drizzy has officially filed a legal petition claiming that Kendrick's hit diss track, Not Like Us, caused him, quote, economic harm. How did we get here? And what does this mean for the music industry? Let's break it down. So on Monday, Drake filed a petition against his own label, Universal Music Group, accusing them of manipulating the market in favor of Kendrick's diss track. According to Drake, UMG and Spotify pushed Not Like Us so aggressively that it overshadowed his own music, causing financial damage to his brand. He even argued that streaming and licensing are a zero-sum game, where one song's success means another artist's loss. Heavy words, right? And honestly, Kendrick's song did dominate. It topped global charts and became an instant classic. But Drake claiming this as a form of sabotage? That's where things get dicey. Now, the reaction has been wild. Charlemagne the God roasted Drake for lawyering up instead of keeping the beef in the booth, calling it a sore loser move. And Kendrick's crew, including Rhapsody and TDE's Punch, didn't hold back either. They call Drake out for embodying exactly what Not Like Us criticizes, a thin-skinned, ego-driven approach to competition. Because you lost a rap battle? Come on, man. Honestly, whether you're Team Drizzy or Team Kung Fu Kenny, that's a tough look. But here's where things get interesting. Drake isn't just fighting Kendrick. He's taking aim at the entire music ecosystem. His petition claims UMG fired employees loyal to him and prioritized Kendrick's success over their own artist. If true, this could signal deeper issues in how labels handle competition among their stars. We've seen power plays like this before, but rarely does an artist of Drake's caliber put it all out there in court. It raises serious questions about fairness in the streaming era. So what's next in this heavyweight saga? Will Drake's lawsuit hold water? Or is this a desperate attempt to save face after taking an L from Kendrick? Either way, this case could redefine how labels promote competing artists and the way feuds impact careers. What do you think? Is Drake justified? Or should he have kept this one on wax? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more breaking music industry drama.